My adventure with Pictet started uh, 25 years ago when I decided to leave uh, McKinsey & Company, a consultancy firm, to join Pictet. In 1997, Pictet uh, managed 100 billion of assets of Swiss francs. We had 1,100 employees and uh, we had nine offices. 25 years later, in 2022, we managed 600 billion of assets. We have 30 offices with almost 5,000 staff members. What a growth. It's impressive. I'm very proud to be part of it. Now, one reason uh, probably of our success is that growth was never the sole objective. In fact, we were not looking for growth for the sake of growing. My passion over the last 25 years was to build genuinely, patiently, a firm with strong values. If I could summarize it in, in a few words, I would say I would like, I wanted, I wished our colleagues to feel responsible while acting responsibly. I can draw three lessons of many I could, I could mention of my dealings with entrepreneurs. And the first one is the importance of hard work, for sure, but also luck. A vast majority of the entrepreneurs I have met from various geographies, origin, industries, taught me that most of the time, when they were self-made entrepreneurs, they didn't think about the venture they would eventually create. It happened by coincidence. It happens, let's call it by luck. It happens by people they have met, or things they have seen. Eventually, it turned out as, for them, a great success. It's difficult to imagine oneself in a business and make clear action plan towards this objective. Curiosity, hence, is, is key to succeed uh, as an entrepreneur. The second lesson is, um, is one of a good friend who um, uh, told me that in life there are four different stages. Um, the first one, and I say it in French and then in English, the first one is apprendre à faire, then faire, then faire faire, and then laisser faire. So learn how to do things, do things, um, make others do the things, faire faire, and laisser faire, let it go. And probably the last one, the let it go phase, is the most difficult one for all of us. The third lesson I've um, learned from entrepreneurs is about people. And I remember one entrepreneur telling me years ago, you have two different kinds of people. Those who give you energy, and people who take energy from you. And it's funny because since I, I got that message, I can very easily see the people who give me energy and I feel revigorated and I feel passion and I feel I have more energy after seeing them but before seeing them. And those who take energy from you, it's always about issues, always about problems, about, about fixing things. You want to maximize the, the number of contact with the first category and perhaps minimize the one uh, with, with, with the latter. I'm not sure I want to leave a legacy, but at least um, uh, if I would give uh, pieces of uh, knowledge, I would also say uh, three things. The first one is be curious. If you're curious, life is wonderful and it's full of mystery and it's full of discovery every day. The second thing is be different. If you do like everybody else, you will end up like everybody else. As a firm, if we just copy paste other people's strategy, you will just do and be like the others. And the third thing is be compassionate. Life is about compassion these days. And the true leader of tomorrow is not the leader who knows everything, is the leader who can understand who can listen, get other people advice, and show compassion to the others. And then you will be a true leader.